Hello, my name is Eric Law, and today I'm going to present for my Iowa 190G class on patent engineering, more specifically on the smartphone patent war. Um, over the next few weeks' presentations, I will focus on an actual patent document and the different features and the ways to read the document. And but first off, um, this week I'll I'll actually use a uh, I'll talk about a smartphone-related patent that is currently in litigation right now. So this patent um, that I'm, I'm going to talk about is um, about the method for uh, frequency sharing and frequency punch out in frequency hopping communications network. Um, it's a mouthful. And um, it has the patent number 5515369. It was filed on June 24th, 1994 and issued two years later in May 7, 1996. And uh, I'll leave the, those the links to the patent in the description below, so you could um, check it out if you wanted to. And um, the the dispute the dispute between the two companies are uh, Wyland Incorporated, and uh, one of Canada's most uh, largest intellectual property enforcement firm, and the other company is Research in Motion, the company that makes Blackberries. So Wyland actually filed a lawsuit against um, Research in Motion claiming infringement of two different patents. Um, one, one, the one that I mentioned uh, just a minute ago and another that's titled um, Device for Composing or Editing a String of Characters. Um, Wyland is actually uh, asking Research in Motion to pay for a license to use Wyland's technology and to pay an undisclosed amount in damages. Um, the two patents were originally granted to other, com other companies, which suggests that Wyland purchased them at some point in time and now has a total of 3,000 patents related to different technologies. Uh, I'll mainly focus on the first one that I mentioned before. And because there is as many as sixty different devices infringe that infringe that particular part patent, and which relates to the way that those devices, such as um, the blue, the Blackberries, and the Playbook by Research in Motion, um, the way that they use Bluetooth to transmit data, um, Wyland stated that uh, Research in Motion should have known about these infringements because they had also previously sued Texas Instruments. For the same patent, and Texas Instrument actually builds some of the components for the Blackberries. Um, in my opinion, uh, Research in Motion is really in a bad position um, because of what um, of what Wyland has stated that you know, they really should have known better because of what happened with Texas Instrument, and also especially because of the recent management shakeup at Research in Motion. Um, although I'm not really sure how uh, Research, in Motion, Research in Motion is actually infringing on Wyland's patents um, or how could there be another way of transmitting data over Bluetooth. But uh, I will investigate and report that on in a future video. And for now, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next week.